Cindy's Chronicles. Boom. <laughs> Welcome to Cindy's Chronicles. Boom. <laughs> what is up, my angels? Pop a lock and drop it. Pop a lock and drop it. <laughs> What was that? Oh, so okay, so guys, as y'all saw in that twiddle, mm -hmm. we cooking gumbo today. And y'all, I don't know who taught y'all how to make gumbo, but I can honestly say I make the best gumbo. She does. Oh, cool. She does. She's not even capping. It's good. What was that I just did? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, check this out. If y'all want to know how to make homemade louisiana gumbo stay tuned watch the whole video like this video share this video um leave me a comment y'all better take notes that's all i'm saying you better watch this video with a little 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 pen and notepad because we're about to get straight into it mm -hmm. all right guys stay tuned Okay, guys, so I have my okra, blue crabs, Tony Satrin. I have our gumbo filet, onion powder. I have three different types of onions, the white, the yellow, the red, bell peppers. I have a shrimp, okra, lots and lots of shrimp. We have our turkey necks, green onions, celery, I have beef sausage and I also have manda sausage, hot and green onions. I have my chicken and I have my Carrie's roux mix. All right, guys, y'all ready for this gumbo? Get ready to rumble. Okay, guys, we got Sam over here cutting up seasons. I got my water boiling for my gumbo. And this is my turkey necks. As weird as you may think it is, I boil my turkey necks about three times, maybe for about five minutes at a time, just to get all that dirt out. And I'll show you guys the nasty, nasty dirt that's in the turkey necks. The reason I boil my turkey necks, I boil them for like five minutes on a high fire, rinse them off and do it again. Because look at that, that's dirt. And I definitely don't want that in my gumbo. So I'm about to rinse this off right here, make a fresh pot of water and boil it for about another five minutes on high. I put my, I'm seasoning my turkey necks. I got my Creole season. I'm putting my garlic powder and you can put as much as you like to use. Let me open this garlic powder on a second. I thought this was already open. Uh, here we go. Garlic powder, uh, onion powder, cayenne pepper. Remember these turkey necks, I don't put season in my gumbo. So these turkey necks are going to be the season. Got garlic. And I'm going to stir this up and I am going to load it with onions, green onions, celery. And I'm going to let this slow cook for about an hour. Show y'all what it look like. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have uh, the celery, yellow onions, red onions, uh, green onions, and green bell peppers all in the turkey necks along with all my season because I want my turkey necks to be really, really, really seasoned. That is literally where my taste comes from. Okay. My turkey necks are seriously covered in season. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put a top on them. And let that cook down okay guys so 
this carries mix, right? I'm about to pour this in here. Got a little bell pepper in there. <laughs> I'm gonna pour this carries mix in here. The whole jar. Okay, I did one whole jar of carries mix. Now guys, for the next hour, literally the next hour, I am going to be stirring this carries mix, making sure that it's just all stirred and there's no clumps. There's no clumps and everything is just to perfection. Literally one whole hour. Okay guys, make sure, make sure, make sure that you are stirring it and paying close attention to this gravy for the whole hour because it will rise up and waste over on your stove. So please make sure that you're paying close attention and stirring to make sure it stays down. Or even if you have to turn the fire down and turn it back up, but this will rise very quickly. What did you have the uh, stove on before? I have it on medium, uh, on medium because it's such a big pot. Okay. Okay, I did reduce the heat to medium low, just so it won't um, run over. And I've just been stirring, 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 stirring. Now I am not making a lot like I normally do. I'm not making a lot, lot like I normally do. This is the pot right here and it's literally la halfway sam over here cutting up sausage getting the sausage already the season already oh what i'm doing now is i am cleaning my blue crabs yes and how you clean those is you take this little piece right here you pop it out. I don't know what that's called, but it's called something. <laughs> and wash them really, really good. You want to get all this out. Look, it's still a little frozen, but yeah, get all that out. Look at this. They still look frozen, so I'm trying to get it all out. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. When it's not frozen, it's easier to take out. All of that. I'm going to take my time and clean each and every one of these crabs. I only I'm not making, like I said, I'm not making a big, big pot this time. So I only have two bags of six, one pound, two one pound bags of blue crabs. All right, guys, I'll show y'all when I'm completely finished. But look at that. If they frozen, that's all you got to do. And it all comes up. If it's not frozen, it normally just comes on up. The poop, or the scoop of the blue crabs. Look at that. That has to come off. Do not cook your crabs with that on there. Alrighty. All right, guys. So it has literally been one hour. And look at these. I cleaned them. I got everything out the middle, cleaned them really, really good. Look how beautiful that blue crab is once it's really clean. And I'm going to put every last one of these blue crabs, and like it's two bags of them, in. Because for me, I'm not really a crab eating, a blue crab eating person. I don't even really know how to eat the blue crabs. Um, I just love the flavor. It gives my gumbo like this seafood flavor. So I'm gonna let these stay in here, just stirring away. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of gumbo filet. 
just a little bit right now because I want that seafood taste to kind of just start sitting in, you know? Let me put these crabs. Look at that paw. Blue crab. Ooh, honey. I ain't gonna put these scraps in there because that's enough for people to be eating. All right, so I'm what I'm gonna do now is I am going to one second sprinkle just a little bit of gumbo filet. Pew, 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 pew. I would say that's about a Less than a teaspoon or a teaspoon. Mm. Maybe a teaspoon. Let's see. Pew, pew. Okay, because right now what I'm doing is I'm getting those um, seafood flavors to start popping out. After these cook for about 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going to add my turkey next in so my turkey next can start cooking with it. Okay, guys, I'm going to add, look at this. It's like half of that clove of garlic in there with the crabs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add, this is one onion. This is my white onion. I'm going to add my white onion and my yellow onion in my gumbo right now. <laughs> okay. Got that. Here's my yellow onion. Wait, I gotta peel it up. Now the other, the other white onion and yellow onion went into my, because I know I had two white onions and two yellow onions. One went into my turkey necks and one is going into my chicken. Let's go ahead and put that in there. That. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and drop in just a little bit of my celery, a little bit of my red bell peppers, just a little bit of my green onions, the art, oh, and a little bit of yellow. So just a little bit of it each just to get my water started up. Look at that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start cooking my chicken and get my turkey necks ready to throw in. Oh, so, while my crabs, they got an hour left on my crabs, um, and I have an hour left on my, well, like maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, give or take or whatever, on my crabs, and about an hour left on my turkey necks. While I'm waiting on that to get done, I am gonna fry my sausage and do my chicken and just have it sitting to the side, and my okra. That way, at the end, when I get ready to put everything in, it'll be all done. So with my sausage, of course, like I said, I put all the seasoning in the meat because I don't put any seasoning on my, in my gumbo. I, it's all in the meat. So I am gonna add just a little bit of Creole to my sausage while it's frying. Um, a little bit of green onions. A little bit of, a little bit of everything. Everything I cook on the side is going to have a little bit of everything. And I'm going to let these fry up because I do cook everything before I put it in my gumbo. I got a lot of sausage to fry. So I'll show you guys the end product. Okay, guys, I know y'all probably wondering why am I frying my sausage before I put it in. The reason is because sausage is really, really greasy. And... You don't want to put all that grease in your food. So I try to cook everything before I put it in. 
Some people really do have a pot full of grease for their gumbo. I don't like any grease in my gumbo. So I made sure I cook all the grease. You know, the grease is gonna be gone. All the seasoning is stuck to my meat. And it looks amazing. Look at that, look at that. Oh, all right guys, so I put my chicken in. I'm not gonna put my chicken in my actual gumbo until almost the end, just like the sausage. But I just wanna go ahead and have it cooked. So again, we're gonna get this meat really, really seasoned. There we go, we got a little bit. Now let me grab, where's my other piece? Oh, here, yeah. We got a little garlic powder. A little cayenne pepper. A little onion powder. Okay. Everything, I like to save my green, uh, some green onions for last to, you know, just to rub on the top. Just ready right before it gets well done because it still has to cook a little bit in the gumbo. A little piece of butter in my chicken just to get it cooking. Just a little piece. Look at that. It's going to be nice and juicy. All right, guys. So I'm putting a little olive oil in here. What this olive oil is gonna do is, I'm gonna let it get nice and hot so when I pour my okra in, it will get all that slimy stuff out. You see it's getting all warm? So, I may not use this whole bag, because like I said, I didn't do a, I'm not doing a big, big pot this time. I keep saying that, but it sure looks like I'm making a lot, huh? <laughs> uh -oh, so for your big, big pot, you'll use that, that entire bag? Yes. Yeah, so once this gets really hot, I can feel it. Then I'm gonna dump the okra in. And that's gonna get all the slime in the Let that cook for a few minutes. Okay guys, so, look, I'm putting a little bit of seasoning on here, just a little bit, um, and a little bit of cayenne pepper, just to give it a, just a sprinkle. And as you can see, look at that. The sliminess is starting to cook out of my okra, because I don't like that slimy in my gumbo pot. You see that? I'm gonna cook this for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, a lot of that slime is gonna be completely gone. It's gonna be almost fried. And I'll be able to drop it in my gumbo pot. All right, guys. Y'all ready? Look at those turkey necks. It's been two hours in the slow cooker. 
Where's my spoon? Look at that. Two hours in the slow cooker. Now what I'm about to do is take these turkey necks and go pour them in the pot of gumbo. Now, do you want the juices in the uh, gumbo? Or mm -hmm. are you okay? Yes, that's, I was waiting on it to make that. I didn't want to, I could easily put the meat in when it was almost done, but I needed like look at that juice, guys. This is what I want to go in my gumbo. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour that in there. Let's see if we can get everything in there. been looking good I just can't wait to eat it that's room on the side all right guys look at that we got our sausage our okra our chicken and we are um peeling out shrimp right now y'all we've been working I got Sam y'all let me show y'all Sam Sam, come on, because Sam been in here working, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sam been helping me out. We just finished peeling, what, like three pounds of shrimp? Yeah. Three pounds of shrimp. Okay, so before I put everything in, I'm going to go ahead and do a tablespoon of gumbo filet. Sprinkle that all around. That gumbo filet is strong. So you want to... Add gumbo filet as needed. So, so far, I'm at about a tablespoon and a teaspoon of gumbo filet. Uh, after this, I'm going to just keep tasting it to see if it needs any more. I am about to add in this sausage, okay? What I have here, and you can see all the oil draining off the sausage, which is good. That's what I wanted it to do. So, we got... Manda's um, hot sausage, green onion sausage, and I have some beef sausage. It's a gumbo. We want it all mixed up in there. Uh oh. Getting it in there. All right, guys. So look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this shrimp. I'm just sauteing it just a little bit. I got a little bit of parsley. Got a little bit of last but not least cayenne pepper. Love cayenne pepper. I don't want these shrimp to get done done. Just a little bit pink. That's it. Just a little bit. Because when I put it in that hot boiling water, it's gonna get all done. That's why I literally have so many shrimp in a pot together because because I don't want them to get too done. Look at that. All right, guys, I'm about to add the chicken. The gumbo, we let it cook about how long, Sam? It's been about three hours at this point. Yeah, the whole thing has been about three hours. We let it cook an hour before we put in the... um. The crabs, then we let it cook about 45 minutes with the crabs in it. We put in our turkey necks 
Then we put in our um, sausage. Sausage, now I'm putting in the chicken. Okay, look at that chicken. I'm gonna let that chicken cook about 15 minutes before I add in the okra and shrimp. Maybe 15 minutes with everything together. And y'all get to see the finished product. Okay. Come, 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 look at this. Almost done. Look at that. We're gonna be tasting this baby in a minute. All right, so guys, we're about to add the shrimp. We're gonna add our okra. We got about 15 minutes left. Look at that. So we got crabs, we got turkey necks, we got okra, we got sausage. Come Sam, it's your turn. It's your turn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sam, have you learned anything today? I think I learned too much today. <laughs> Look at that y'all. Look at that. Now that's how you make a gumbo, baby. Baby, baby we got Nay in the house. Hey. Oh, Nay, <laughs> Nay, Nay in the house. <laughs> okay, guys, look at this. Look at this finished product. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to let you guys taste it. Y'all ready? Ooh, baby, baby. All right, guys. So I got my taste tester in here. First, let me get a close up of this gumbo. Yeah, zoom in, you know. Make sure you get the details. 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 Okay, so we got the crab, the chicken, the sausage, the okra. I see you. Mm, mm, oh, yeah. Mm, mm. All got all a little all crackers all to go with it, Nay. Mm -hmm. Okra. All Let's see what it's working with. Bless that food, bless that food. Bless that food, bless that food. Yeah, it's still lady. Yeah. <laughs> this food is pretty the, hot now. Got the rice at the bottom. Yeah. This Louisiana gumbo. One time for your mind. Let me get up in there. How that gravy taste? <laughs> is it good? It's really good. Is it good, good, good? Well, rolling, rolling. Like a 18 wheeler. Okay. <laughs> Can anybody top my gumbo? No. Mm -hmm. If anybody want to challenge me, it's up. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love is rolling. Shout out to Sam Sam. She was in the kitchen the whole time. She yeah, helped me. Sam Sam holding it down. Always. Yeah, she even got my she even got my secret ingredient. Well, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. So I ain't gonna lie. We tired. We're like so exhausted right now. Sorry, we look great still. So. <sighs> we literally been in this kitchen about what four hours straight. Yeah, I think so. Four or five hours straight. That's a long time. It's a long process, but the gumbo <laughs> came out delicious. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. That's gumbo a big old pot of gumbo. Yes. We about to get us a bowl of gumbo and go to sleep. <laughs> I should good. put on some makeup today. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is bare face. We've been in the Natural kitchen cooking. <sighs> All right, my angels. Thank y'all so much. Y'all do me a favor and have an amazing day. Wow!